Hey everyone, uh, so there are these bars splitting up the video. The right side is ahead by 10 seconds, so if I was to stick my hand through, you don't see it right now, you see it 10 seconds ago. And if I was to stick my hand through the other way, you don't see it now, you see it in 10 seconds time. YouTube does have buttons that let you jump backwards and forwards through time. So, I'm not sure how this works on mobiles, but on a computer, if you press the L button, you can follow me into the future. Let's go. I guess I can just wait here while it's quiet. And problem is, I'm about to interrupt myself. Hey, so, look at uh, me. I'm in the future. Yeah, that's what I mean. You can also press the J button to travel back in time. Uh, okay. So, if you're watching this video without time skipping, and I also travel forwards in time, then you'd have to wait for me. It's like you have to wait for this ball whenever it travels forwards in time. Also, if I want to try sync up my dialogue like this, then I need to talk very fast in order to be in time with the clock. Uh, finally, if there's a section of the video people return to, then um, YouTube will probably end up recognizing it as a very popular section. There might even be like a little peak thingy on the play bar. I don't know. Depends how many views I get. Anyway, that's uh, that's all for me. Bye.